Okay, we have a potential problem here with Applia. This one is less clean cut than the others, but I still believe it is a problem. So, if you look here, the question asks, all three tax plans are based on what? So we have to find something that all three of these plans have in common. If any one of these plans does not have that in common, the answer cannot be correct. I said all three plans are based on income. Here is Applia's answer. It says, the tax base is the measure of value that determines how much tax an individual pays. In this case, the tax base is the value of the house an individual owns. That is, the amount of tax that an individual pays depends on the value of his or her house. So according to Applia, the, the value of an, the, the individual of the house the individual owns is the correct answer. So in that case, all of these are all, all of these tax rate plans are based on the value of the house. Well, if you look at plan A, they're all the same. Fifteen percent across the board. So, according to Applia, that 15% should be changing based on the value of the house. I'm not seeing it changing. If you don't own a house at all, you're paying 15%. If you own a house that is worth $300,000, you're still paying 15%. That does not look like the value of the house to me. That looks like something different. Now, if we go into the book, and we find proportional tax, which is the same percentage regardless of the taxpayer's income, which means that all those 15% were based on income, not property value. Income. Property value is not mentioned. Go back to Applia. Back on Applia, all three tax plans, so all three. So if even one of them had a flaw, if even one of them was not based on value of house, then I could not put value of house. We've established now plan A is based on income. Now if you look at plan B, plan B, the percentages start low according to house value. House value is 8%, or sorry, house value is 0 to 100,000, and we're at 8%. Next, 10, 12, 14, and 16. So it rises with house value. Um, and here in plan C, it goes the other way with house value. But because plan A does not go anywhere based on house value, are these really house value? Or are they, as the book says, income? Well, well, the book says income. Progressive is based on larger share based on the income of the taxpayer Regressive, smaller share based on, again, it's every, these are both, so progressive is, progressive tax is plan B, and regressive tax is plan C. Again, they are both based on income. This is according to the textbook. They are based on income. Going back to Applia, we've established now that all three of these are based on income. 
which means that although plan B and plan C may may appear based on house value, they could also be based on income because generally somebody who owns a $500,000 house makes more money than someone who owns a $100,000 house or who does not own a house at all. Therefore, it's safe to assume that plan B and plan C are based on income, given the information we have. Plan A is not based on any of these, or is not based on, on um, is clearly not based on house value. Uh, why would you pay taxes on a house you don't own? That doesn't make any sense. It's clearly based on income. So, now, um, I would assume that this is a mistake on Aplia, and that my answer of income is correct, even though Aplia is saying it is incorrect.